Good day everyone! Today's video will focus mainly on functions as mathematical model. So we begin the course with the discussion of functions. So I assume everyone or I assume all of you watching this video is familiar with functions. So this will put emphasis on mathematical modeling which makes use of functions to develop relationship between quantities. So let's start! In many applications of calculus, uh, one is usually expected to express certain problems as a functional relationship between certain quantities. In this part of the review, we will use functions to model some simple problems. Usually functions are being taught in grade 12 or grade 11 in general mathematics and this also a springboard in calculus when you are in college. So let's take this problem. A rectangular field has a perimeter of 240 meters express the area of the field as a function of its width. In solving problems, what you need to do is to understand the problem itself. So you have to read the problem twice or thrice until you get the, the concept of it or the thought of it. So again, a rectangular field has a perimeter of 240 meters express the area of the field as a function of its width. So in this case, what is being asked is to express the area of the field as a function of its width. So since we do not know the, the width and we do not know the dimension, so we're going to assign x and y as the width and the length. Usually, you have to express that in meters, respectively. Then, the area of the field is given by A. So, if we're going to write now the representation, in geometry, area is denoted by length times width. So, algebraically, so since we're going to represent x and y as the dimension, so x, y as the representation. So since the problem, the given is the perimeter is 240 meters, we have also to recall the formula for perimeter. So we know that perimeter is twice the width plus twice the length. It is given in the problem that the perimeter is 240. So simplifying this, so since we have to express so since we have to express the area of the field as a function of the width so we have to consider the value of your x or we're going to consider your x so by simplifying now so this is 240 equals 2x or get the common monomial factor for this so we have now x plus y then to isolate or get x and y so we have to divide both sides by 2 okay so this becomes 240 divided by 2 is 120 okay 2 divided by 2 or just cancel this one so we have now x plus y so since we're going to express area as a function of its width so therefore y now we're going to consider y y is equal now to 120 minus x how does it happen so we just move or transpose x to the other side so by community property so we have now y is equal to 120 minus x we are not yet done. So since we're going to express this again, we express the area 
of the field as a function of its width. So, it will become now A as the area as a function of X. So, this is equal to X now times 120 minus X. Algebraically, if we are going to simplify this, so area A as a function of X this equal now to negative x squared. So, since x times negative x is negative x squared plus 120x. Uh, so, 120x because we multiply x and 120. So, therefore, the function now, so if we're going to get the final answer. So, this will be A area as a function of X is negative X squared plus 120X. So, this is now our function. So, this is an example of an optimization problem. So, to find the solution to such problem, one is required to express one is required to express the quantity to be optimized as a function of another quantity. So, usually this method is used in calculus. But this also a lesson in grade 11 general mathematics. I hope you learned something. So, next video, maybe I guess I have to discuss how to evaluate functions.